माँ के पास जाना है खुद को ही पाना है अपनी शुद्ध इच्छा को परम शक्ति में समाना है आत्म को जे अपना है अनुभव से जाना है आत्म को जे अपना है अनुभव से जाना है दुर्गा आदि शक्ति
अनुभव से जाना है दुर्गा आदि शक्ति श्री माता जी श्री माता जी निर्मला Good morning, everybody. We are going to start the 10th day of Navaratri with Mother's Talk 1987 about Sri Rama in the day of Navaratri Puja. So the so the power of a person lies in things. How much you can bear, how much you can undergo without feeling it. Like you are, say, in the jungle, you are happy. If you are in a palace, you are happy. If you are with the, this color or that color, if you are with this race or that race, if you are with this kind of life or that kind of life, you can bear it. And that bearing power gives you the caliber, the caliber to have Sahaja Yoga. It's not that this is shown, it's not that is being suffered. Don't have to say, I suffer uh, being like this. No, you don't suffer. It's just by the way. For a person who wants all the comforts, a person who wants to live with all the luxuries, but not with any kind of defects or any deficiencies. Is a person, is a beggar, I would say, in every sense of the word. I mean, best things to get rid of problems is not to have them, in the sense, now I don't drive, so I have no problem of driving. I don't have, I never telephone. So I don't have problems of telephones. Um, I don't go to the banks, so I don't have problems of the banks. The best is, I don't have any income, so I have no problem of income tax. <laughs> Whatever bothers you, you just don't have it. Why do you want to have it? Have it and then bother about it. It's very funny that you can get rid of anything that bothers you very easily in this world, so you need not have that kind of a thing on your head. But when the word problem, especially in the European community, problem is a very common word. But in English language we never heard, learned this word, problem. You see, only the problem was used when we were uh, studying uh, geometry. Geometrical problem, but we never knew there's a problem in life. Later on, when I came in contact with the European community, they'll say, there's no problem, this is the problem. At least in one day, hundred times, they say problem word. So, for a problem, the solution is not to have that thing which gives you problem. You can give up anything. Anything that you want, you can give up if you know how to detach yourself from that. 
Many people come and tell me, Mother, we have an ego, that's the problem. I said, then give up. I mean, it's simple. Why do you have it? As if, you see, they want to say that we, we have trouble with this thing, but still we are clinging on to it. Like uh, we are afraid of a crocodile, but we want to put our foot into the mouth of the crocodile. And we have a problem that our foot will be eaten up by the crocodile. <laughs> now give up! But they will search out a crocodile, open the mouth and put the foot in it <laughs> and then come to me and say, Mother, we have a problem, Our, my foot is in the mouth of the crocodile. <laughs> to get to problems, you have to get to it. But without getting to it, how will you get a problem? Say, for example, people have very silly, stupid problems. Now, the first problem somebody may have, oh, I have to get my clothes pressed. What's the need? No problem, where them as they are. Who looks at you? You see, there are all the people who have pressed clothes, doesn't matter what is there, if it is not pressed, it's such a, it's a problem for them. It's silly things like that. You see, very silly things. But the greatest problem I think you have is your watch. In Switzerland, I shouldn't say so. <laughs> you see, the problem is like this, <laughs> that now you have to go to the airport. Now, as soon as you tell somebody, we have to go to the airport. Now, I have to go, you don't have to. Everybody gets sort of a uh, jumping, as if standing on a jumping board, you see, all of them jumping like that. What's the matter? Mother, you have to go to the airport, so it's all right, I have to go. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? It's a problem. I said, what's the problem? I have to go. You just know that you don't have to go at all. You don't have to come to the airport. And the aeroplane, if it comes and doesn't take me, I'm not going to come back on your heads, so I'll stay in a hotel. Don't you worry. But why are you so excited about it? The way people are excited that I must catch the plane, sometimes I feel as if they want to get rid of me. So, this is a problem for people who are very meticulous. Now, supposing I say, I know that the plane won't leave me, I know, because I know many things, <laughs> so I have no problems. But supposing even if you think the plane, you may not get. So it may not get, but if it gets you, all right. If it doesn't get you, it's all right. So where is the problem? Either it will take you or it will not take you. What is in between? Where is the problem? I still don't understand. Either it will work out or it will not work out. Keep two possibilities. That's the only two possibilities. What is the third possibility that gives you the problem, you tell me? Say somebody owns me money, all right. So either he will give me or he may not give me. What is the problem? The problem is that you call it a problem and want to avoid to face the truth. If you face the truth, you will know one thing, that, see, now this man has to give me money, all right, I'll go and face it. I'll tell him, sir, you have to give me the money. You have to pay me. This is your uh, duty. And if you don't pay me, you are doing wrong. You get, get at him and face him and tell him. But you won't do that. You'll sit at home, oh God, it's a problem, I have to, you see, that man is not giving money, oh God, that's a problem, <laughs> sitting here, hitting your head all the time. How will you get it? If you face it directly, then you'll be amazed. There's no problem for anything. Say your car fails, so it fails. Get down, enjoy yourself nicely till somebody comes along, takes you. Or if, supposing you don't get some lift, all right, stay there overnight, what is it? No tiger is going to eat you. 
And if the tiger has to eat you, it will eat. <laughs> Where is the problem? Still I can't see. <laughs> I can't see the problem. If tiger has to eat, that's already destined that the tiger has to eat. In any case, nobody dies, you'll be born again. <laughs> if you look at it from that angle, then you'll be surprised most of the problems do not exist, they are like bubbles created by our own thinking, the waves of our thinking, this is the problem, that is the problem. Like today they said, there is no hall on such and such date, all right. Where are you having the hall? There. If there's no hall, let us have it in the open. So to make the best of it is, is the way Sri Rama shows you. Now, what is the way He has helped us, let us see. Sri Rama, by His character, by His uh, balance, His peace and His uh, uh, mildness and His sweetness has shown us how a king should be a benevolent king and at the same time a very loving husband and a loving father and a person in dharma, but apart from that. He went down to Maharashtra. He arranged all these things so that he could walk down to Maharashtra bare feet to vibrate the land. Because Sahaja Yogis will be going one day to Maharashtra and the Maharashtra has to be a vibrated land. In Ayodhya, he never took out his shoes because he was the king there. But when he went, and Sri Sita, both of them, when they went to Maharashtra, they took out their shoes to vibrate it. On his way, he saw a big stone, which was nothing but a lady, cursed to be a stone, Ahilya, and he made her, just by touch, she again came back to life. Like that, one after another, he was just, by the way, as if was doing, but that was the purpose of his life, to go there. And that has helped. A very great uh, achievement within ourselves is the Sri Rama. Sri Rama stands for the pranavai, is for the vital air that we drink, that we take in, for the vital air. And that vital air, when it gets heated up, we have to know that we are not anymore with Sri Rama. It has to be the cool air should blow through your nose and your mouth. I don't know about you people, it happens with me all the time. When you are angry, the nostrils go up, swell up, and the hot air, the hot words and everything hot, the heated eyes and everything goes up like that, curled up, and you become ferocious, Ravana, because you have forgotten the beauty of the nature of Sri Ram. Sacha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Jai Shri Mataji, all Sahaja Yogis of the Global Meditation, let's Pray to Sri Ganesha to develop all the powers of Sri Ganesha inside us. But before we are going to bow, bow down at the lo holy lotus feet of our Divine Mother recognizing her inside us. Salutation to Sri Mataji. Now let's invite her to come to our meditation in the form of Sri Rama, 
for the day of Navaratri and also in the form of Sri Ganesha and with full attention at the top of the head and our Muladhara and with full humili humility. Let's do the Namaskar, Rice Kundalini and Collective Pandan. Sri Ganesha, we surrender to you. You are the protector of us and the protector of the humanity. You are the only one that is seat in all our chakras. To recognize this truth, let's take four times Shri Ganesha Mantra. Om Tuame Vasachat Shri Ganesha Sachat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dhamme Vasasha Shri Ganesha Sachat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Eve Namo Namaha Om Vame Vasasha Shri Ganesha Sashat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dwame Vasacha Shri Ganesha Sacha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Today we are celebrating the 10th day of Navaratri, Vijaya Dashami, the 10th day of victory, also called Dushera, Sri Mataji in the form of Sri Rama is defeating Ravana. Dushera can also be interpreted as Dashahara, meaning the cut, cutting 
of the ten heads of Ravana. So let us resolve on this day to cut and burn the ten heads of the de demon inside us. Inside us, there is a demon with ten heads. And they are represented as ego, let's cut our ego, let's surrender our ego. Let's put our attention inside at the top of the head. And let's think in another demon inside us that is the passion. Let's cut the head of passion. There is another head inside us that is false pride. Let's cut the false pride in us. Let's ask. Today, please remove another head is the anger inside us. Let's remove all the anger inside us. Let's remove the greed and the lust. When we remove the anger, we can remove also the hate. There are all heads of demons inside us. Let's remove the jealousy, especially jealous from other brothers and sisters. Let's remove any jealousy inside us. The ignorance is promised to be proficient in Sahaja Yoga. to put the ignorance away from us. Revenge is another head that we must cut. Selfishness. We are in collectivity. So let's remove the selfishness. Murmurings.
being harsh with others, brothers and sisters. And crookedness. All that are heads that we must cut inside us. Let's, let's put our attention inside. In a silent meditation about that, Ravana's heads inside us. Let's take a silent meditation with the divine breath. Two, three minutes.
Now, let's put our right hand in the center of our heart, the place of Sri Jagadamba Durga. Let's make a prayer for forgiveness in the heart without feeling guilty. Here, let's say, O oh Mother, O oh Primordial Mother, let your blessing bestow upon us through your holy vibrations. And let your holiest and all the holiest names be always in our heart. And forgive us for offending you in thoughts, words, or deeds. Maybe against our brothers and sisters. And make us be ashamed of it. Give us the courage to forgive others as you have forgiven us. And let your vibrations make us understand where we stand. So that we can plead for forgiveness. Ever loving mother, who is the creator of this universe. And finally, let, let us thank you for all that you have given us. And pray that these blessings will bestow on us, your children. And to the entire universe. Durga Bisarjan, Bisarjan is a procession where he's taking the statue of Sri Durga for immersion in a lake, river, or the sea.
today. Let the goddess Durga Jagadamba get immersed in the sea of our heart. Now we are going to have Sri Durga Shalisa. दुर्गे सुख करनी नमो नमो अम्बे दुख हरनी निराकार है ज्योत तुम्हारी तीनों लोक फैली उजियारी शशि लाट मुख महाविशला नेत्र लाल भ्रिकुटी बिकराला रूप मातु को अधिक सुहावे दर्श करत जन अति सुख पावे तुम संसार शक्ति लय कीना पालन है तू अन्न धन दीना अन्न पूर्ण हुई जग पाला 
तुम्हिया दि सुंदरी बाला भलय काल सब नाशन हारी तुम गौरी शिव शंकर प्यारी शिव योगी तुम्हारे गुण गावे ब्रह्म विष्णु तुम्हे नित ध्यावे रूप सरस्वती को तुम धारा दे ऋषि मुनि नुबारा हरा रूप नर सिंह को अम्बा प्रकट हुई फार कर खम्बा रक्षा कर प्रहलाद बचायो हिरण्याक्ष को स्वर्ग पठायो लक्ष्मी रूप धरो जग माही श्री नारायण अंग समाही क्षीर सिंधु में करत बिलासा नया सिंधु दीजे मन आसा हिंगलाज में तुम ही भवानी महिमा मित न जात बखानी मातंगी अरुधुमती माता भुवनेश्वरी बगला सुखदाता श्री भैरव तारा जग तरणी चिन्ह बाल भव दुख निवारिणी हरि वाहन सोह भवानी लंगुर वीर चलत अगवानी घर में खप्पड़ खडग विराजे जाको देख काल डर बाजे सोखे अस्त्र और त्रिशूला जाते उठत शत्रु ही अचूला नगर कोटि में तुम ही विराजा तंगीलो लोक में डंक बाजा शुंभ निशुंभ दानव तुम मारे रक्त बीज शंख न सहारे महिषासुर नृप अति अभिमानी जे ही अद भर महिय कुलानी रूप कराल काली का धारा सहन सहित तुम ती ही सहारा परिगार संतन पर जब जब भाई सहाय मात तुम तब तब अमर पूरी अरुबा सब लोका तब महिमा सब रहे अशोका ज्वाला में है ज्योत तुम्हारी तुम्हें सदा पूजे नर नारे प्रेम भक्ति से जो यश गावे दुख दरिद्र निकट नहीं आवे आवे तुम्हे जो नर मन लाई जन्म मरण ताको छुट जाय जोगी सूर मुनि कहत पुकारी योग न हो बिन शक्ति तुम्हारी शंकर आचार ज तप कीणो काम रूप क्रोध जीति सब लीनो इस दिन ध्यान धरो शंकर को काहु काल नहीं सुमरी तुमको शक्ति रूप को मर मन पायो शक्ति गई तब मन पिछतायो शरणागत हुई कीर्ति बकानी जय 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 जगदम्ब भवानी भई प्रसन्न आदि जगदम्बा भई शक्ति नहीं कि न विलम्बा भोक मातु कष्ट ती घेरो तुम बिन कौन हरे दुख मेरो आशा कृष्ण नी पट सतावे मोह मदादिक सब बिन शावे शत्रु नाश की जय महारानी सुमिरो एक चित तुम्हे भवानी करो कृपा हे मातु दयाला रित्य सिद्ध दे कर निहाला लगी जियो दया फल पाओ तुम्हारो यश मैं सदा सुनाओ दुर्गा चालीस जो नित गावे सब सुख भोग परम पद पावे सहज शरण निज जानी करहु कृपा जगदम्ब भवानी सहज शरण निज जानी करहु कृपा जगदम्ब भवानी सहज शरण निज जानी करहु कृपा जगदम्ब भवानी ओ
श्री निर्मला देव नमो For 10 days of Navaratri, the goddess was fighting with all demons inside and outside us. And today, Let's have a promise to do introspection, to improve ourselves. Anything that we lack Let's work on it, on it. Let's finish our global meditation with full recognition that Sri Mataji, in her complete form, is protecting us with her love for us. Let's have a complete surrender. Let's move our Kundalini at the top of the head and beyond. And Shri is sit 
on our Sahasrara. Victory to our mother. Victory to the goddess inside us. Victory to the goddess of the world. Now let's rise the Kundalini put on bandhan and do the namaskar and stay in meditation during the music at the end. Yeah, good day. 